The year was 2000, and it was the last time Jose Mourinho lost his first game in charge of a club when he was at Benfica. He's mm. won again. Mm -hmm. They looked pretty good, didn't they? What a start for Jose. And it's the start that you expect. I am not surprised about this performance from Spurs that had energy and intensity and there was a mindset of players willing to take chances going forward and Dele Alli was all over the place and Hoon Ming Song created opportunities, Harry Kane scoring a goal. Everything to love about Spurs over the first 60 minutes of the game and it was all about really how much in the front foot these players were and how much energy they showed and intensity they showed, which is what you expect mm -hmm. when a guy like Jose Mourinho steps into the locker room and says, all right, here I am. Yes, yes, I've done a lot of things in my career now I expect you to do this and this is how I'm going to do it and this is how you're going to do it. That reaction was always going to be there. Yep. But then you have the last 30 minutes. And that's when, that's when Jose Mourinho can, can really begin to work because he can go to Hong Min Song and say how great he was and some of the other players out on the field, but he can also address issues that are, are, are there and clear to see. So you can, you can pump the, your players up and then you can bring them down slowly but surely during the week and say, hey, but we got to work on this and we got to work on this and we got to pay attention to that. The combination of that is what will make Jose Mourinho a success at Spurs. However, a start, it's just that. It's just a start. And this is what you expect from Mourinho. This is what you expect from Spurs. Will it continue? Will it be consistent? Will it be something that lasts more than a couple of games or a couple of weeks or a couple of months? That's what we need to see. When Mourinho, if Mourinho sits down with Ericsson and it becomes clear that Ericsson's mind is elsewhere, do you think today was the first game that is life after Ericsson now and that he would just be a bit part player between now and the end of the season for Jose or do you still think he has a part to play? No, I think he has a part to play because I, I do think that Spurs are a better team with the best version of Ericsson out on the field. They become far more dynamic in the attack with more flexibility because of his ability to find passes and his movement of the ball and what he can do when he gets in that final third. So if Mourinho can get Ericsson and say, all right, Whatever you're going to do next year and whatever your choice is going to be, so be it. But for the next six months, mm -hmm. how, how, how about it? How about you lay it out on the field for me? And this is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to put you in a position to be, to be successful. And that's going to put us in a position where we can be better. If he can have Ericsson buy into that, then I think Spurs become a better team. Let's end with a final word about West Ham mm. because... Maybe it's the same as the Arsenal-Southampton game. The Arsenal late goal might paper over the cracks. Did the two late goals by West Ham maybe paper over the cracks? Because West Ham weren't good and Pellegrini is under pressure. Well, uh, they, they haven't won a game in eight. And yeah. so y you're thinking about what West Ham has become and what they were early in the season. And, and there are issues there. And so that's not to take credit away from Spurs who went away from home and got a result. But they... In Spurs, they found a team in West Ham that is also struggling with confidence and struggling to, to find any sort of rhythm to the game and to understand what they are and what makes them successful. And because of that, you put those two things together, the energy and intensity of a new manager and, and, and players that now want to prove themselves to a new manager. And then you have on the other side was Ham, a bunch of players that are struggling with confidence and a manager that is barely hanging on. What you get is 60 minutes that were very, very dominant from Spurs. And a backup goalkeeper that isn't very good. <laughs> That's a problem. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.